Samuel. 1 Samuel 2 opens with a beautiful prayer from Hannah, the mother of the famous prophet Samuel, praising God for his holiness, his omniscience, ability to know everything, for his compassion, his justice, and his sovereignty over everything in her life. See, Hannah had honored her vow to give her son Samuel to the Lord. And ultimately, the Lord blesses Hannah by even giving her three more sons and two daughters later in her life. It's a beautiful thing. But also in this chapter, we read about the children of Eli, the priest. It's interesting, the New Living Translation describes Eli's sons as scoundrels who had no respect for God. They were guilty of being abusive to the people who were offering sacrifices to God. And Eli's sons, they were extremely immoral. And this chapter records for us that Samuel grew in favor with God and with people. But Hophni and Phinehas, Eli's sons, who would not obey God nor their father, are given a warning from a prophet that they and their father will be judged for their wickedness and the boys will actually die on the same day. It's interesting that Samuel grew in favor with God without the presence of his parents and Eli's sons, they grew far from God. One of the real tragedies of this chapter is the lack of love through good parenting that Eli displayed for his sons. He apparently did not take loving, strong, disciplinary action with them when he became aware of their sin. Eli ignored the sins of his sons and was ultimately guilty of honoring his sons above God by allowing them to continue in their sinful ways. One author commenting on this passage says, if your primary goal as a parent is to have your kids like you, you will not like what your kids become. Your primary goal should be to want your kids to know what's right in God's sight. And if that means discipline, so be it. If they hate you in the process, so be it. But you must honor God more than you honor your kids. See, when it comes to sin as a parent or as an individual, deal with sin quickly and openly and obediently. For as Proverbs 28, 13 says, people who conceal their sins will not prosper, but if they confess and turn from them, they will receive mercy.